हेलो वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दिस वंडरफुल चैनल अन अकेडमी जेई इंग्लिश एंड टुडे वील विल बी डूइंग टेंजेंट एंड नॉर्मल तो दिस इज अ वेरी यू नो इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर ऑफ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डेरिवेटिव वी विल बी टुडे डूइंग द क्वेश्चंस ऑन टेंजेंट नॉर्मल एंड इंक्रीजिंग डिक्रीजिंग सो दीज आर टू यू नो बेसिक एंड बिल्डिंग आइडियाज ऑफ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डेरिवेटिव सो वी विल बी डू अ ब्यूटीफुल यू नो इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन ऑन दीज आइडिया सो लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन दिस इज मी उमेश गर्ग आई हैव फाइव प्लस ईयर्स ऑफ टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस एंड आई हैव and my btech from nit kurukshetra and i have also qualified jee students so do subscribe to the channel and unacademy jee so that you can you know access the beautiful and interesting lectures that are here for iit preparation and do share this video with the tag hashtag jee life daily so that it reaches to the maximum number of people and you know student this is a interface tinyurl.com/jeemobile you can you know use it for your revision of theory classes because uh, here what have we have done that we have done the indexing of, of our lectures that are available on youtube you just need to click on the lecture the lecture will start and you if you click on the link of pdf the pdf will be downloaded but you must know that the lectures are in hindi okay so Umesh Live is my referral code for an academy subscription. If you use this code, you will get an extra ten percent of discount, students. And I want to draw your attention towards recent price drop. Again, there is a price drop in two-year plan. Now you can avail the two-year subscription of an academy by just the amount of thirty-two thousand four hundred, and the one-month plan has been restored to six thousand per month. Okay, students. So let's start. This is the first question. Length of subtangent at a point on y equal to f x is three by eight, and length of sub normal is twenty four. Then the ordinate of the point is. So you need to find the you know uh, ordinate of the point. This is very simple question on the theory of subtangent and sub normal. I included this question so that you can have a revision of theory as well. Now, length of subtangent. Length of subtangent. Is equal to y upon y dash. This is a very standard formula. Actually, it is modulus of y upon y dash because the you know y y dash can be negative, but length cannot be negative. Therefore, length of subtangent is equal to modulus of y upon y dash. That is okay with everyone. Very good. And length of subnormal. Length of subnormal is equal to y y dash y y dash modulus. Modulus is there because they can be negative. Therefore, uh, length of subtangent is equal to y y dash modulus. That is okay with everyone. Now we have been given these values are as three by eight and twenty four. So uh, and we have been asked the y coordinate. Very simple. Just multiply these two values. You will get y upon y dash into y y dash is equal to three upon eight into twenty four. Modulus in the left hand side. There is no doubt in that. Y dash y dash cancel y square will come out to be nine y will come out to be three okay so since mod of y equal to nine so y equal to three so the point of you know value of ordinate for which sub tangent is equal to three by eight and sub normal is equal to twenty four will be three. Got my point. Very good, students. Let's start with the next question. The point on the curve which is closest to the line. Okay. So, students, you just need to you know understand that this is a standard problem of you know application of normal. Uh, the uh, theory is that if this is a curve y equal to x square plus seven x, I am not concerned that it has roots or not. Okay. Now. At uh, uh, since this equation has roots, so let me uh, you know draw it in that way. Otherwise, it will be confusing. <coughs> f of zero positive. Let us suppose this is the graph of the quadratic. Now, what we have been given this line y equal to three x minus three. So x zero y minus three. Uh, so uh, this is the slope of a positive line. So let us suppose this is the line. Now, what we have been given that the point on the curve which is closest to this line. So if the Point that we need to find out should be closest. Theory states that the slope of tangent on that curve, slope of tangent on that curve should be equal to the given line, or the given line should be parallel to the tangent. That is okay with everyone. That if this this point is at the location such that it is at the least distance. 
or closest from this given line, then the slope of tangent at that point should be equal to the slope of given line. Basically, the tangent should be parallel or the normal should be same. As I said, it is the application of normal. The normal of the two curves should be same. Therefore, y dash should be equal to slope of the line. This is the theory. I hope everybody must have understood the idea that for any point to be closest to this line, the tangent at that point should be parallel to the given line. Got my point? Now, the slope of tangent will come out to be y dash will come out to be 2x plus 7. Now, this y dash should be equal to slope of the line. Slope of the line is how much? 3. So, the x will come out to be x will come out to be minus 2. Now, what we need to find out? We need to find out the coordinate of the point. Just put x equal to minus 2. y will come out to be minus 8. Therefore, the answer will be a for agra. Uh, very good. Very good, students. Very good. So, next question. <coughs> Coordinates of the point on the curve. This is a very good question. If you do it by the, you know, calculus and tangent normal, it will take a very long time. But if you do it by the, you know, standard ideas, it will so like this. Coordinates of the point on the curve. 4x square plus a square y square equal to 4a square. So, first what I did, I, you know, brought down the 4a square in the denominator, in the left hand side. So, it became x square upon a square plus y square upon 4 square equal to 1. Now, this equation is very, you know, close to me because I know this is the equation of an ellipse. This is x square upon a square upon y square upon b square. This equation represents an ellipse that is okay with everyone. Now, I have to understand that is this a, a you know horizontal ellipse or vertical ellipse. This is the question. Since a varies from a cube varies from 4 to 8, so a will vary from <coughs> a will vary from third root of 4 and third root of 8 which is 2. So, from this inequality, I can easily comment that a is less than 2. Since a is less than 2, so a square will be less than 4. So, since a square less than 4, it means this become a vertical ellipse. I hope everybody must have got the concept that this is a vertical ellipse. There is no, there should be no doubt in that, that it is a vertical ellipse because of the given constraint. Okay, Gaurav, no tension. Okay, so just plot this ellipse and you know, we will get this figure. This is a vertical ellipse and since the major axis will be on the y axis, which has coordinates 0, 2 and 0, minus 2. Till now, I haven't even read the full question. I just, you know, I just analyze the given equation, formulated it in the simplest format and draw the graph. Now, what, what the question has, is asking me, uh, point on the co this curve which is farthest from the point 0, 2. So, let us suppose this is the point 0, 2. What, what, is it to, what is it to suppose? It is the point 0, 2. Now, we need to find out a point which is on this curve, first condition and second condition which should be at maximum distance from this point. So, it is very, you know, clear from the geometry of the uh, ellipse that the point which is at the maximum distance from this point is the vertically opposite point. I cannot say, you know, uh, diametrically opposite because uh, diameter is not available in the ellipse. So, the point, the other end of major axis will be at the maximum distance. Therefore, the point with the maximum distance from the given point will come out to be 0, comma, minus 2. So, the answer will come out to be D4, jelly. But if you try to solve it by other some method, you know, the, you, if you want to differentiate it and you want to do it by parametric form, it can be done by that method only. There is no problem with that method. But that method, first of all, it will take a lot of time. Second, you will not solve it. Uh, eventually, you will drop the question that it is very calculative, just drop it. <laughs> That's why it is very good solution. Okay, next question. Let's try it. Hello, beta. Let's see who has joined us. Gaurav Bansal, hello. Balmiki, hello, beta. Hello. Welcome to the class. So, let's try this question. The function fx, x cube minus ax square plus 48x plus 19 is an increasing 
for all value of x then a should belong to for a function students you must understand this notation because i will use in the further sessions also if fx is increasing function i write it by this method upward arrow means it is an increasing function downward arrow it means it is a decreasing function if fx is given to me as a increasing function it simply implies that f dash of x needs to be greater than 0 or equal to 0 that is okay with everyone that if fx is an increasing function the equation directly implies that f dash x should be greater than or equal to 0 now just differentiate this curve so the f dash x will come out to be f dash x will come out to be 3x square minus 2ax plus 48 now this expression this quadratic should be positive uh, now f dash x should be positive so 3x square minus 2ax i hope minus 2ax yes plus 48 uh, 48 should be positive for all x belongs to real this is very important this we have been given in the question that fx is increasing for all x belongs to real. Therefore, f dash x is positive for all x belongs to real. Now, here comes the theory of quadratic that it is a quadratic equation facing upward because x squares coefficient is positive. It is positive for all x. So, its graph can be, you know, somewhat, somewhat like it like that now for this graph we have just one condition actually there are two condition a positive d negative but since a is already positive so that is you know uh, already satisfied just you know solve for d less than zero i am solving for d less than zero so d less than zero will come out to be b square minus 4ac so b square will come out to be 4a square i think everybody is getting the point now very good 4a square minus 4a3 and c is 48. This is less than 0. So, 4 for common a square minus 148 less than 0. Now, you can use very curl method. I can factorize it very fast. a plus 12, a minus 12 less than 0. Here comes the critical points. Minus 12 plus 12 from right hand side alternate plus minus is the sign scheme according to wavy curve method now we need to solve for less than zero therefore the answer will come out to be a belongs to minus 12 to 12 okay students i hope everybody must have got the answer it was very easy question but very important question this is the idea you should remember this is the idea that you should remember if fx is increasing function then f dash x needs to be greater than or equal to zero very good very good no problem shashankar you just get joined no problem so let's start with the next question this is also a very good question minimum value of a square secant square x plus b square cosecant square x is if you want to solve it by the method you know by derivative uh, calculus i have no problem with that that can be done very easily but there is other way to solve it you know it is very ironical that i am today teaching you tangent and normal and i am telling you to avoid those calculations those calculations are useful but we need you know specific questions for that you know specific situation for that they will come further in the session so let's start with it uh, minimum value of this expression so i am uh, you know assuming this value as y equal to a square secant square x plus b square cosecant square x i hope that is okay with everyone that i give gave this value as y now uh, secant square x can be written as 1 plus tan square x and cosecant square x can be written as 1 plus quarter square x very good so now this can be written as a square plus b square plus a square tan square x a square tan square x plus b square quarter square x that is okay with everyone that secant square x is written as 1 plus tan square x so multiply a square and a square tan square that is okay similarly quotient square now these two terms this expression is very specific to me this can be very easily done you know this can be we need to find the minimum value so its minimum value can be easily find out by the idea of amgm because a square tan square x and b square quarter square x both of these are you know positive terms now i am applying amgm on the terms apply am greater than equal to gm i hope 
there is no problem with that that why am i using it very good so am greater than gm so a square tan square x plus b square cot square x divide by 2 is greater than or equal to its multiply its multiply in the multiply tan square cot square x will cancel out each other and ro square root of a square b square will be ab so the least value of least value of a square tan square x plus b square cot square x will come out to be 2ab the least value of this expression will come out to be 2ab so i can you know substitute the least value if i need to find y minimum if i need to find y min let, let's do it on the next slide if i need to find y minimum it can be written as a square plus b square plus 2ab so the least value will come out to be a plus b whole square i hope everybody must have you know understood and enjoyed the solution very good very good this can also be done by the idea of derivative you can differentiate it and get the value of x for which this expression will be many minimum because uh, maxima minima of differentiable functions lie at the point where derivative is zero that application that idea that theory is also valid and that will also solve this question but i am taking the other route next let's let's try the next question yeah this is a wonderful question when uh, x belongs to minus 6 to 8 the minimum value of fx is equal to x plus 6 raised to the power 4 into <coughs> sorry uh, 8 minus x whole cube we need to find the minimum value so i will do it by you know derivative that will be easy in this situation because it is a polynomial of very high degrees uh, 7 degrees uh, so just uh, you know start the de derivative we have been given fx as just re rewrite it x plus 6 raised to the power 4 into 8 minus x whole cube just you know just stay with me i will do very amazing things in this question you need to be very focused for this question differentiate it f dash x for derivative i am applying u into v rule okay so u into v rule this one will become 4 into x plus 6 whole cube into 8 minus x whole cube this one as it is and derivative of x plus 6 will be 1 so i am not writing it plus plus x plus 6 whole raised to the power 4 and derivative of that expression will be 3 times of 8 minus x whole square and derivative of 8 minus x will be minus 1 everybody got the point that minus 1 how minus 1 came because derivative of 8 minus x will be minus 1 first i differentiated the power then i will differentiate the base that is the idea okay now just take common the things will you know come out that i will take the least power x plus 6 has the power 3 here and 4 here so 3 power will come out and 8 minus x 8 minus x has 3 power here and 2 power here so i will take 2 power common somebody want to, you know almost everybody wants to write 8 minus x as at uh, you know x minus 8 and take out a negative common that will become you know a problem for us you will find it out later right now just focus on the things that i am doing so the f dash x will come out to be what i told you that least power will come come out common so x plus whole cube will come out common and 8 minus x whole square will come out common got my point that because here it is square what will remain inside four times of x plus 6 4 times of x plus 6 and minus 3 times of 3 into minus 1 minus 3 times of what will be remain you know uh, no no here 8 will come remain sorry because 3 power is common na? therefore here since 3 power is common here it will remain 8 minus x and here it will remain x plus 4 i think everybody must have understood what i have written very good very good a is the right answer ram prasad a is the right answer very good so uh, this is the common factor and this is the you know remaining factor i am rewriting it f dash x will become f dash x will become x plus 6 whole cube 
एंड एट माइनस एक्स होल स्क्वायर दैट इज ओके विद एवरी वन दैट दिस इज द कॉमन पार्ट एंड इट विल बिकम थर्टी टू माइनस फोर एक्स माइनस थ्री एक्स माइनस एटीन सो थर्टी टू माइनस फोर एक्स माइनस थ्री एक्स माइनस एटीन इट विल बिकम फोर्टीन माइनस सेवन एक्स दैट इज ओके विद एवरी वन दैट इज ओके ना सो नाउ वी नीड टू सोल्व फॉर एफ डैश इक्वल टू जीरो बिकॉज बिकॉज मैक्सिमा और मिनिमा विल ओकर एट यू नो वेयर द डेरिवेटिव जीरो so the solution of this equation you know solution of this equation will come out to be minus 6 from here it will come 2 and from here it will come 8 now we need to check that which value is maximum which value is minimum one way of doing it just put the values if you put the values as minus 6 it will become 0 and if you put the value of 8 it will become 0 but if you put the value of 2 x is equal to 2 the answer will come out to be A for Agra. Just put the value two. You will get two plus six, eight raised to the power four, and six raised to the power three. So answer is A for Agra. No problem. Very good full marks. But if somebody wants to, you know, uh, if if somebody asks you to draw the graph of this function f x, then we need to understand a few things. Okay. Just stay with me. That this is the point minus six. This is the point two, and this is the point eight. That is okay with everyone. Now, as I know that f of six, f of minus six zero, f of eight zero. So graph will pass through this point also and this point also. And at minus six, derivative is also zero. And at eight, derivative is also zero. So if a function and its derivative both are zero at a point, then at th that point becomes the turning point of the graph. Concavity changes changes at that point. Got my point. Now, uh, just look at this graph. This is even uh, you know odd degree graph because four plus three seven and the highest coefficient, you know degree of, uh, coefficient of highest degree is negative. Very good, very good. Coefficient of highest degree is negative. So as x goes to minus infinity, it will become positive because this is even power. If you put x goes to minus infinity, it will become positive infinity. So the graph will become something like this. i am sketching the rough graph it will be a turning point maxima now this and now that that will be the rough sketch of this graph got my point because as x goes to plus infinity it will go to minus infinity so if this is like this and at this point it will change its concavity okay and 2 is the local maxima which is the value of that we have got in the question got the point very good so answer is a that is no problem answer is a that i think everybody must have solved it but you should understand the graph also very good next question students this is a wonderful question very good question a point on the curve y equal to 2x cube plus 13x square plus 5x plus 9 the tangent at which passes through the origin is okay what the question is asking us that there is this curve This is a, this is any random curve, rough curve. Let let me draw it like it because this is a cubic. I don't know it has roots or not. What is the issue? I don't care. I just you know draw a simple sketch of any cubic. The question is asking me a point on this curve. Okay, let me get a point which has coordinates a comma b. Now what is what to do? Tangent at which? Okay, tangent at this point. Tangent at this point. I have drawn the drawn the tangent. Tangent at this point passes through origin. Okay, so what I did that this tangent passes through origin. There is no problem with that. I think everybody must have you know got the uh, idea of the graph that I have drawn. <coughs> Very good. Okay, now uh, just you know write the equation of slope and you will get the answer. First thing first. A comma B point lies on the curve because I have you know assumed this point on the curve, so A comma B will lie on it. So equation one will become B equal to two A cube plus thirteen A square plus five A plus nine. This is the first idea that you should understand that since I have assumed the point A comma B on this curve, so A comma will A comma B will satisfy it. Very good, brother Nathan. Very good. This is the right answer. Very good. Now, slope of this tangent, slope of this green tangent, should be equal to the value of derivative at a comma b. I am repeating it. Slope of this tangent should be equal to the value of derivative at this point, because this is the basic idea of calculus. 
that value of derivative equal to slope of tangent. So, I am writing it slope of tangent slope of tangent is equal to value of derivative got my point now slope of tangent is b minus 0 upon a minus 0 by 2 point form so slope of tangent will be b by a is equal to f dash at a this is the situation so uh, this is the situation so f dash of a will come out to be 6 a square 26 a plus 5 so, f dash a will come out to be 6a square plus 26a plus 5. I hope everybody must have got what I, I want to convey. Very good. Namaskar unique. Namaskar bacha. Very good. So, multiply it by b, sorry a. So, b will become 6a cube plus 26a square plus 5a got my point now equate the value of b from this equation and from this equation you will get the answer i am equating them so the value of b will come out to b i am equating the values of b 6 a cube plus 26 a square plus 5 a is b according to this equation okay and b will have the same value as this one 2 a cube plus 13 a square plus 5a plus 9 now the beauty of this question is 5a 5a cancel get this value here it will come 4a cube plus 13a square and minus 9 equal to 0 till now everybody got the solution that what i am doing very good so after this just try hit and trial a will come out to be minus 1 if you put a minus 1 it will become 0 because minus 4 minus 9 and plus 13 so a is a is equal to minus 1 is the root I have found out the x coordinate of the point. If you can find the x coordinate, just put it in the equation. So, y will come out to be if you put a equal to minus 1, uh, it will come out to be 15. Very good. So, answer will be d for Delhi. I hope everybody must have got the idea. Very good, student. The, see, this is very simple question. I am repeating the idea that what I did, I first I you know assumed the point a comma b. Now since a comma b lies on this curve, it will satisfy its equation. So b equal to this equation came. Now th since this green line is tangent, so slope of this tangent equal to the value of this derivative. Slope of this tangent can be find out by two point form b minus zero upon a minus zero. So slope of tangent is b upon a, which is equal to f dash a. How to calculate f dash a? Just differentiate it and put value x equal to a. From here there came the second equation. Now equating the value of b, we got the value of a. If we got the value of a, we can easily find the value of b. So answer came out to be d for Delhi. Very good, students. Very good. Next one. This is the easy question. Tangent to the curve y equal to 2 plus bx plus 3x square at the point where curve meet the y axis has equation this. Okay, I don't know about this curve. You know, actually, actually I know about this curve a lot. This is a quadratic equation. Uh, so, let me draw it like it. This is a rough sketch. And the point where it meets the y axis, put x equal to 0. So, that point became 0, 2 that is okay now the question has said that the equation of tangent at this point is like something like this so this is the random uh, graph so uh, equation of this tangent is given to me as 4x minus y plus 2 equal to 0 so very simple idea that the slope of this tangent should be equal to the value of derivative the basic idea of you know tangency that's uh, by calculus that slope of this tangent should be equal to the value of derivative so use this idea and question is gone slope of tangent i think everybody must have got this idea na? is equal to value of derivative is equal to value of derivative so slope of tangent is 4 slope of tangent is 4 and the value of derivative f dash at uh, f dash x at where x is equal to 0 because it is tangent at the point 0 comma 2 and for that point uh, x coordinate is 0 therefore f dash is b plus 6x so it is b plus 6x at x is equal to 0 that is 4 so put x equal to 0 the value of b will come out to be 4 very easy question but the you know uh, statement can be a bit confusing 
स्टेटमेंट कैन बी अ बिट कंफ्यूजिंग बट द सोल्यूशन इज वेरी इजी डी फॉर डेल इज द आंसर वेरी गुड या इट वॉज इजी क्वेश्चन नो प्रॉब्लम विद दैट नाउ लेट्स ट्राई विद द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन रोल्स थियोरम रोल्स थियोरम वेरी यू नो स्टैंडर्ड क्वेश्चन ऑफ रोल्स थियोरम दिस क्वेश्चन इज हेयर जस्ट बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू यू नो मेक यू रिवाइज द आइडियाज ऑफ रोल्स थियोरम रोल्स थियोरम इज एप्लीकेबल इन एनी इंटरवल इफ इट इज कॉन्टीन्यूस एंड डिफ्रेंशियबल इन ए टू बी टू बी मोर टू बी मोर स्पेसिफाइड इट शुड बी कॉन्टीन्यूस इन क्लोज ए टू क्लोज बी एंड डिफ्रेंशियबल इन ओपन ए टू ओपन बी ओके एंड एफ ऑफ ए शुड बी इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ बी सो फर्स्ट लेट्स चेक दैट वेदर दीज कंडीशन आर सेटिस्फाइड हेयर और नॉट फोर पाए बाय सिक्स टू फाइव पाए बाय सिक्स साइन एक्स इज कॉन्टीन्यूस डिफ्रेंशियबल एंड ऑब्वियसली पॉजिटिव एंड नॉन जीरो सो दिस लॉग विल गेट डिफाइंड सो इट इज इन द डोमेन एंड एट पाई बाय सिक्स साइन पाई बाय सिक्स इज हाफ सो वैल्यू इज एल एंड हाफ एंड एट फाइव पाई बाय सिक्स वैल्यू इज वैल्यू ऑफ साइन इज अगेन हाफ सो देर फोर रोल्स थ्योरम इज एप्लीकेबल नाउ इफ दीज थ्री कंडीशन गेट सेटिस्फाइड वट डज द रोल्स थ्योरम स्टेट्स रोल्स थ्योरम स्टेट्स दैट एफ डैश एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो फॉर एट लीस्ट फॉर एट लीस्ट वन सी belonging to pi by 6 to pi by 5 pi by 6 this is the basic theorem this is the basic theory of no d is the no no b is the right no b and d both are wrong for rolle theorem question b and d both are wrong if you are given the answer for rolle theorem you are wrong now this is the theorem that f dash x should be zero for at least one c belongs to the given domain now what is f dash x for this curve let me write it f of x is equal to ln of sin x i think everybody must have got it this is given in the question now differentiate it f dash x will come out to be 1 upon sin x and derivative of sin x will come out to be cos x so f dash x function became what cot x now this f dash x should be zero for a, for at any c you know for at least one c so if cot of x equal to 0 Since f of f dash of x is equal to zero for Rolle's theorem, this will happen at x is equal to pi by two. In our given interval, it will happen at this point. Otherwise, it can happen at infinite point. But since we are talking about pi by six to pi by six, therefore the answer will come out to be C for Calcutta. Very good. Abhishek, Unique, Aniket, Deepay, Deepu. Very good. Very good. C is the right answer. Let's try the next question. This is a wonderful question, amazing question. Very, you know, conceptual. Nothing to write about. Just you need to think about it. Equation of normal to the graph of the function f of x equal to sine x square upon x. F of zero is zero. So for you know uh, equation of normal, I need to equation of normal at zero. I have the point zero comma zero. Since this function is uh, zero at zero, so I have the point zero comma zero. so what i need i need the slope of normal if somehow if i can find the slope of normal then i can easily uh, write the equation by slope point slope form there is no problem in that now to find the slope of normal what can i do i can differentiate it very easily f dash x and uh, i can put the value zero so that i can find the slope of tangent because f dash x is equal to slope of tangent from there i can find the slope of normal that is a step one process one idea one but that is a very lengthy process it will make you you know kill yourself very calculative suppose if i do x cube upon x uh, x square x square par 100 upon x square 99 then you will not think of differentiating it since these are x square and x you are thinking of it but if i change the powers like that that sign of x square par 100 divided by x square par 99 then you will not think of di uh, differentiating so let's talk about something else i am using the idea of first principle of derivative you know first principle definition f dash x can be written as f of uh, sorry limit first we need to write the limit f dash x can be written as limit x goes to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h 
दिस इज द बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ डेरिवेटिव एट एनी पॉइंट एक्स ऑफ एनी गिवन कर एफ एक्स नो सी इज द रोंग आंसर अनिकेत इफ यू आर गिविंग सी सी इज द रोंग आंसर नाउ वी नीड टू फाइंड दू नो स्लोप ऑफ टेंजेंट एंड नॉर्मल एट जीरो सो आई विल पुट द एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ टू फाइंड द डेरिवेटिव एट एफ डैश जीरो दिस इक्वेशन विल बिकम समथिंग लाइक दैट लिमिट एच गोज टू जीरो एफ ऑफ जीरो प्लस एच माइनस एफ ऑफ जीरो डिवाइड बाई एच दिस इज द राइट हैंड डेरिवेटिव आई एम आई नो दैट इट विल एक्जिस्ट सो आई एम ऑल्सो आई एम कैलकुलेटिंग ओनली द राइट हैंड डेरिवेटिव इफ यू आर कंसर्न अबाउट इट यू कैन ऑल्सो कैलकुलेट लेफ्ट हैंड डेरिवेटिव नाउ एफ ऑफ जीरो इज जीरो एफ ऑफ जीरो इज जीरो देर इज नो पॉइंट इन दैट तो एफ ऑफ जीरो इज जीरो नाउ एफ डैश एक्स विल कम आउट टू बी लिमिट एच गोज टू जीरो एफ ऑफ जीरो प्लस एच वट विल बी एफ ऑफ जीरो प्लस एच एफ ऑफ जीरो प्लस एच विल बी दिस फंक्शन बिकॉज एक्स नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज डिफाइंड साइन एच स्क्वायर अपॉन एच सो इट विल कम साइन ऑफ एच स्क्वायर अपॉन एच एंड अगेन वन एच इज देयर सो इट इज एच स्क्वायर नाउ दिस बिकेम द स्टैंडर्ड लिमिट of the sin theta upon theta theta goes to zero so this limit will come out to be 1 you know it came like this only now if f dash x f dash of 0 1 so slope of tangent is 1 from here i can easily write slope of normal equal to minus 1 now slope of normal minus 1 and it is passing through the point 0 0 It is passing through the point zero comma zero. So y minus zero upon x minus zero equal to minus one. The equation will come out to be x plus y equal to zero. I hope everybody must have got my solution. It was a very interesting way to solve it. Okay. Yes, h tends to zero. Yes, obviously, h tends to zero here. Okay. So let's try with the next question. This is also a wonderful question. So. Uh, x plus y equal to zero was the equation of normal. Now let's try the next question. Y equal to m x plus two is parallel to a tangent to the curve e to the power four y equal to one plus six sin x square. Then slope of this line should be okay. So uh, what I am uh, you know trying to do that this line is parallel to tangent and it is asking about slope. <coughs> Sorry, question. So. what we should do we should find the slope of tangent first and slope of tangent is the value of derivative that is that i have you know easily conveyed you in this session so just differentiate the equation it will become e raised to the power 4y 4y dash equal to it will become 32x i think till now everybody must have understood it now 4 to 4 cancel i am interested in the value of y dash because that is the slope of tangent so y dash will come out to be 8x upon e raised to the power 4y take uh, you know uh, take it in the denominator now e raised to the power 4y can be rewritten as 1 plus 16x square got my idea very good so y dash can be rewritten as 8x upon 1 plus 16x square got my point till now everything should be crystal clear because i have differentiated it because i am concerned about slope of tangent now y dash has been solved to 8x upon 1 plus 16x square okay this y dash this is the slope of tangent this y dash this is the slope of tangent by theory of tangency there is no constraint in that now you should uh, you know uh, do a simple mathematics that 1 plus 16 x square if you apply amgm it will be greater than ax or less than ax 8x sorry 1 plus 16 x square it will be either greater than 8ax or less than 8ax because if you apply amgm the you know uh, gm will come 4x and the 2 will transfer multiply so 1 plus 16 x square uh, i am writing it very fast 1 plus 16 x square you know it will be either it will belong to minus infinity to minus 8x union 8x to infinity open and at 8x and minus 8x it will come you know close i think you must have got my idea everybody got my idea that how this equation will come very good very good so now uh, since this is you know this is least 8x so this its maximum value will become 1 and minimum value will become minus 
therefore slope of the line varies from minus 1 to 1 and 0 is open it will never yeah 0 is attained at x equal to 0 okay so slope varies from this now m is the slope so slope m mode m mode m should vary from you know minus 0 to 1 therefore mode m should go from uh, if you want to write it in the form of inequality it will be written as mode of m less than equal to 1 if any line wants to become tangent then slope of that line should be equal to slope of the tangent slope of that line is m and slope of tangent to satisfy this condition therefore mode of m should satisfy this condition and this condition uh, unique uh, okay this uh, i am you know i am explaining it again just listen to me very it is a very easy question but good question differentiate it it will become e raised to the power 4y and 4y dash equal to 32x so just find the value of y dash it will come out to be 8x upon e raised to the power 4y put the value of e to the power 4y it will be 1 plus 16x square now this 1 plus 16x square can be easily uh, you know parabolas uh, and for those parabolas uh, we need to find the sum of ordinates of point of contact so what i did initially i assumed the line y equal to mx plus 6 sorry c what i did that i assumed that this is tangent to this parabola and this parabola both so i am solving it for uh, with the first parabola first then i will solve it with the second parabola so i'm i'm solving it that if this is tangent to this parabola so if i solve these two equations simultaneously that equation should have only one solution because that is a tangent it is touching the graph only at one point so by using that theory this equation can be rewritten as this equation can be rewritten as uh, x square plus 4 minus m into x plus 4 minus c equal to 0 now this equation has d equal to 0 because this equation has equal roots so if we solve for d equal to 0 i am writing it fast it will become 4 minus m square minus 4 a is 1 minus 4 a c equal to 0 so it will come out to be uh yeah everything is fine yes everything is fine it will come out to be 16 plus m square minus 2 m uh, minus 16 plus 4c equal to 0 i think i i think i have done something wrong uh, everything is okay i think huh? Chalo, m square minus 2m plus 4c equal to 0 now uh, let's solve it with the next equation also so x square plus 8x plus 4 equal to mx plus c now solve it x square plus 8 minus m into x plus 4 minus c equal to 0 i think everybody must have understood it till now there is no problem with that very good d equal to 0 for this equation also d equal to 0 for this equation also so b square 64 plus m square minus 16 m minus 4 ac so 16 c plus 4 c equal to 0 here it will come m square minus 16 m plus 4 c uh, plus 48 equal to 0 now there is something wrong with it because in that equation uh, something is wrong according to me uh, if that is written as 8 then it will come out to be 32 yeah that is 8 that is 8 there is a misprint in it that is 8 so for then it will become 8 it will become 8 and it will become 8 then it will become minus 32 got my point I was concerned about it but let it be uh, so this equation will become minus 32 and it will become equal to 16 got my point now I am rewriting these two equations to solve it the final equations are m square minus 2m uh, minus 8m it is minus 8m actually this is also minus 8m minus 8 m got my point i think everybody must have got the point yes or no i am repeating it again i did nothing nothing just let the line y equal to mx plus c solve it with the square put d equal to zero 
and again solve it with the second curve and put d equal to 0. These two equations came. Now I am solving it. Now to solve this equation it is very easy. m square minus 16m plus 4c equal to minus, 6, minus 48. This is the first equation. And what will be second equation? m square minus 8m plus 4c equal to 16. Just subtract these two equations because m square and c will cancel out. You know, solving these two equations is very easy. Subtract, subtract plus minus. It will be minus 8m is equal to how much? Minus 64. So, m will come out to be 8. So, if you put m equal to 8 in this equation only, put it in this equation, c will come out to be 4. Got my point? m equal to 8 and c equal to 4. So, the common equation of common tangent has came. Anand, uh, this is very simple. I think uh, there is nothing to be worried about. I let the equation solve it with each of the parabolas. Put d equal to 0. From For the first parabola, this equation came. m square minus 8m plus 4c equal to 16. And for the second parabola, again x square plus 8x plus 4. mx plus c is the curve. Now, take this equation to the left hand side, uh, solve for d equal to 0, this equation will come. Now, solve these two equations, this one and this one. Solve these two equations simultaneously. I subtracted it, put the value of the m came out to be 8. Just put the value of m, value of c will come out to be 4. Got my point? Okay. Now, m and c equal to, m equal to 8, c equal to 4. Just try to find out the x for any, any equation. I am solving it. You just need to you know, be, be focused about it. Uh, so, equation has come out to be y equal to 8x plus 4. Got my point? m equal to 8, c equal to 4. I am solving it with first curve. This first curve is x square plus 4x plus 8 equal to 0. This is the curve 1. Got my point? And this, this line is tangent as I have solved it with it. So, uh, put it... Uh, y x, x square plus 4x plus 8 is equal to 8x plus 4. Now, this will become x minus 2 whole square equal to 0. So, x will come out to be 4. If you put x is equal to, sorry, 2. x is equal to 2, the point will come out to be 2 comma 20. So, this is the point of tangency on the first curve. Got my point? So, this is the point of tangency on the first curve. And if you solve it with the second curve, second curve is y is equal to 8x plus 4. This is the line. And curve is x square, x square plus 8x plus 4. Very easy one. Is equal to 8x plus 4. So, cancel out. x will come out to be 0. So if you put x is equal to 0, the y will come out to be 4. So, the point of tangency of this line for these two curves will come out to be 2 comma 20 and 0 comma 4. A little bit of calculating question. You know, there was a simply a change. The question should be x square plus y square, 4, uh, 4 square plus 8. Now, the point of tangency has came. What we need to find out? Sum of ordinates. So, sum of ordinates will be 24. Got my point? It was a good question. You must, you know, understand it very easily. Very good. Very good students. So, <clears throat> this, was, this was the session on tangent and normal. So, in the tomorrow session, we will be doing, you know, maxima minima question. So, you must, you know, revise the theory of maxima minima to get the maximum out of it. Okay, students, I hope you enjoyed today's session. And this is our Instagram handle at the Red Academy J official. You can follow our, uh, you know, this, this uh, profile so that you stay updated with the recent changes that are, have been going on the IIT J platform. And if you haven't installed the Telegram app, just install it and write in your browser tinyurl.com slash J live chat. And you know, just join this group already. 30,000 plus groups, you know, st uh, students have joined this group. And a lot of relevant information about IDJ also available on this group. So, you should join it. And let's talk about Unacademy subscription. You know, uh, Unacademy is the best platform in India to prepare for IDJ because we offer you live classes which are very much, you know, effective uh, as far as teaching and learning is concerned because your focus and concentration is more while you are, you know, learning live. And you can add, interact with your educator if you can, you know, uh, ask if you, you missed any step or you didn't understand any manipulation, you can rectify that on the spot only. 
and this feature live polls and leadership leaderboard this is a very important feature you know the demand of spe speed with accuracy that skill can be easily nurtured and mastered with this feature only if you participate in polls your speed with accuracy with, with Im will improve you know drastically exponentially and we offer you test series so that you can check your performance that where do you stand in the competition of india and we offer you live doubt classes beta this is a you know landmark feature of the an academy here you can get clear all the doubts whether it is of theory or numerical no matter there are dedicated doubt clearing sessions on the platform and this is how platform looks like already 60 plus educators are, are there who are teaching on the platform once you subscribe to the channel uh, so no, sorry to the platform you can avail any educators video there is no constraint on that okay so now let's talk about how to join very simple install the unacademy learning app make your profile set your goals to iitj and click on the get subscription button once you click on it this window will pop up and here students plans have been written one month three months six month one year two year what i want to draw your attention towards is that there is a recent price drop in a two-year plan now you can avail the two-year plan by just you know uh, the paying the amount of 32,400 and if you use my referral code umesh live you will get an extra 10 percent of discount and we will start your journey of mathematics to take it to the next level okay so umesh live is my referral code for an academy subscription so students just join it and i'm waiting for, for you there and uh, so those of you who have not subscribed to an academy j english just subscribe to the channel because a lot of amazing sessions like this and sprints like this are going to be held here and uh, you know uh, you will learn a lot of things from these sessions only and click on the bell icon to get the notification share this video with the tag hashtag jlive daily so that it reaches to the maximum number of people and you know link for the pdf corresponding to this lecture will be in the description box and these are our youtube channels an academy neat an academy foundation an academy jee and an academy j english so let's crack it students let's crack it thank you very much thank you